here, um, basically what, it, what a popper is, and, and I'll tell you just kind of how diverse they are because you can use a lot of different things in making a popper. You don't necessarily have to use just duck. Um, you can use deer, you can use, um, you can use a pork loin, you can use a uh, beef tenderloin, you can use just about anything like that because basically what this is, is, um, and you can do di different variations of it. Uh, what I'm doing here is, is an onion, it's a jalapeno, and, um, and bacon. It's wrapped in bacon. And what I've done here already, I've prepped some, but I didn't use jalapeno. I used uh, a pepperoncini. And the reason for this combination and what makes it so good is, is you've got the texture crunch of the onion, and you've got the flavor of the onion. Then you got the, the beefiness of the duck in there that really pops. And then the jalapeno or the pepperoncini that gives the vinegar and the little back heat to it. And what I'll do is, is, um, is once I grill these, you gotta grill them hot. You gotta get the fast, fast hot because the wild game, when the wild taste comes into it, is when you cook it too long, is when you overcook it. There's people out there have a misconception that you know duck is, is real wild. Well, it's also a misconception that duck is a bird and you gotta cook it like a chicken or it's done as a chicken. You don't. It's, it, this is like beef, it's a red meat. You can see how red it is. Um, and the reason it's so red is, is because of the migration. They have to fly so far, so much blood pumps into the breast, that's why it's so red. But you cook it and you eat it like beef, medium to medium rare, more medium rare. So you have to cook a hot fire, you have to sear that bacon, is what, what we're gonna do, and then I'm gonna glaze it with the Ubon sauce at the end and, and get a little caramelization with that Ubon sauce. Because that's what, what that Ubon sauce is gonna do is it's gonna give the sweet element of it. So you got the sweet, you got the heat, you got the beefiness, you got the onion flavor and texture, and it all just goes perfect together. Um, as a matter of fact, I've won several wild game cookings with duck poppers and or dove poppers, um, doing it the same way. Uh, and, and it's been very, very <laughs> successful doing that. Now, basically, um, what I do here is, is kind of, when you, when you get an onion to do this, you actually, to get one that looks like a flying saucer is, is the best kind. And I, I almost exclusively use Vidalia onion just because of the mild flavor of it. It's not overpowering. But what that does also is, is it gives you a good little cup, you know, that, that shape of onion. And then you just basically put the, put the duck on that, put the jalapeno or pepperoncini on that, <coughs> and then you just, you roll it or you wrap it. <coughs> Toothpick it. Well, I, I wish, you know, the, the thing about this, this prep is, and then you got a popper. Um, and uh, the thing about this, this prep is it does take a little time and they get eaten so fast. It's almost like, man, you know, <laughs> it took me 10 times longer to, to get these things ready than it did, you know, for them to get eaten up. So, uh, but that's, you, you know, like I said, it's basically the, the, the onion as and, and also what the onion does is it helps these toothpicks stick in there and stay. <laughs> um, that, that's also a help of the onion. But, uh, and, and like I said, there, there's so many different variations of this that you can do. There's even people that, that use these and they'll, uh, and they'll put cream cheese in it, which gives it, you know, another, another texture or a softer texture, another element of, of saltiness with the, with the cream cheese. And, uh, um, you know, and it's good, you know. My cooking philosophy is when you put good stuff, you're going to get good stuff, you know. Yeah, exactly, pork belly, you know, it, it's just, it, it's, it's, the, it's the, the, the elements that go together, it, it really the, the meat that you put in it is, is going to be, it's going to be good. It's all good, you know. So, uh, but that's, that's the basic of a, of a popper, um, and uh, and I've got you know I got several made up here that, that we're going to grill and we're going to eat and, and 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 partake in, 
And uh, but even like deer tenderloin or deer backstrap goes real good in this. But, but the key, and I can't stress enough, the key is is don't overcook it. Um, it's it's got to be hot. It's got to be fast. You got to get it on. You got to get the sear on the bacon. As soon as the sear is on the bacon, that's when you're gonna that's when you're gonna sauce and get the glaze on. It. And that's that's the key to it. Got any questions? What are you saying for hot? Four hundred, four fifty, five hundred. 500 yeah yeah I mean you, you know you're also gonna have your hot spot but you're gonna have your safe haven over that and that's a, that's a real key to fire management when you do build a fire on a grill make sure you got a safe safe zone on that grill um, you got somewhere that you can get stuff to if you uh, if it gets too hot or if it starts flaming up you can get it you, you just Man, I've had so many on the grill before, I just raked them off to the side because it started flaming up and getting too hot. Um, that's a that's a rich experience thing. You already, yeah. already all know you've got to have a place to go to when stuff starts moving. And, I mean, because yeah. sometimes our grills are as big as that big kettle. Yeah. And you're just trying to move stuff so you don't kill it. That's right, all. right. And I, and I, like I said, I just, I've turned that as a safe zone on a grill. You know, it's just somewhere you can get too quick, it's going get to you, get you off the heat. Fancy. And, uh, That's fancy. Yeah, isn't it? But like I said, it takes a whole lot more time to fix than it does yeah. to eat. <laughs> you know, because once you, it's like, that's why they call them poppers. Once you get going, it's like popcorn. You just pop them in, pop, you just, 